brief tutorial and demonstration, I want to show you how to create green screen videos and talk to you about the importance of how to use green screen videos to help market your content and create professional looking sales letters or videos without spending a fortune to do so or getting hung up on technical know-how and actually even how to make them on your phone. Now, green screen stuff and talking head videos aren't just a fad or a kind of like a marketing trick. The truth is that you can't, you can no longer hide behind your business or what you're selling. Everyone wants to know who's behind what, and even people who are running top Fortune 500 companies, and people want to know what those guys stand for and who they are. It's essential now, especially if you want to make money online, whether you're shy or you don't like being on video or being taped to get in front of your audience and speak to them face to face essentially. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get access to what's called virtual studios and additional top notch green screen training as well through a course called Virtual Studio Simulator if uh, you found this training helpful and you wanna get into more stuff like this. Um, this is stuff that's really gonna help you sell whatever it is you have to offer in any niche and engage your audience and even your potential business partners and really help define you as the authority guy in your niche instead of just another me too guy, which a lot of people, uh, guys and girls, are starting to fall prey to. They're just kind of kind of blending in and they're not really establishing themselves as leading experts in their niche. Now, if you don't know what I mean by uh, virtual studios, um, basically these are like uh, backgrounds that you, uh, green screen backgrounds that you can put behind you uh, and these are videos and they have different effects uh, so you can see this is like a business one um, and you can also put videos on these white spots here this is like an office and this is all part of a uh, course uh, called virtual studio simulator that uh, gives you these types of virtual studios as well as like nature backgrounds and other ones like that um, and also it comes with um, uh, actual virtual studio accessories so you can really take this to a really high quality level and as you can see right now this is kind of above your average um, like marketing course they really put a lot of time and effort into making this uh, nice uh, and we'll get into that more but first uh, let's just do an example of how to create a green screen video and what this is all about and why it's so important so right here you can see I made a quick one uh, this is just um, something uh, to welcome people to a course and all this was was it was just me talking and uh, behind it was like a really it was a green screen uh, basically which is a green cloth backdrop and to be honest it uh, really wasn't that expensive to put together and uh, the lighting was really cheap so if you're wondering what camera I used um, or uh, what actual cloth I use in the background well I'll get to that in a second and explain all that um, but to do this uh, all you need is a green screen editing software um, so first I'm going to demonstrate on Adobe Premiere Pro how to do it now this is you can get this for $30 a month through the Adobe Creative Cloud I believe or you can pay a one-time fee for it now if you don't want to pay that and it's a little expensive because this one is uh, toward the top it's more expensive than others. Um, we're also going to be showing you how to do it on Camtasia. And there's also a, uh, a green screen editor called uh, Video Motion Pro that came out that can do this. I don't know if you, some of you bought that, as well as some other ones like uh, you might be able to download for free, actually, um, which I'll get into in a little bit. But first, uh, all you have to do is uh, drop is open Premiere Pro and you're gonna see the interface like this and then just drag and drop from uh, your desktop or your finder uh, whatever movie you want to edit so I just dropped in this uh, movie here it's kinda of like the one I was just showing you in the example and then you just drop this over to uh, this timeline here and you have to bear with me because my computer is a little slow it's not that this software is bad or anything uh, it's just the computer I'll have some issues that I need to fix. All 
All right, so now we drop, just dragged and dropped it into um, this panel from this uh, this media holder here, basically what that is, to this timeline editor. And uh, you can basically watch the movie through here or drag and drop the controller to see different parts of it. Now to create the backdrop, all we have to do is make sure that we move this frame up one space and these are your different video tracks here so actually what we want to do is put another video track underneath this so when we get rid of all this green stuff the other video track is going to show through so say that you have one of these virtual studios so this is the place where you just drag your virtual uh, studio movie file or mp4 file behind here and then this is gonna your studio will show up behind it or if you have like a nature scene or something like that you can drag it behind there uh, for this one we're just gonna create like a white plain background like you see in the Apple movies or commercials so all you have to do is right click in this uh, media browser area here and click color matte select OK and then just choose what color you want in the background. So we'll just do white. And now you, it showed up in our media selection panel over here. And just like the movie, you just have to drag and drop it to the place that you want. All right, so now we have the white behind it. So now we just have to get rid of the green. And all you do for that is go to Effects, ultra, something called Ultra Key, and drag that to this uh, video here. Now you go up to this section, and this is uh, the effects. There's something called Effect Controls. This is going to control the effects of uh, whatever we dropped onto this movie. And all you have to do is click this uh, dropper here to get the color we want to remove. Then select it and it will take it away. Now the only other problem we have is uh, some of the shadow here because the uh, kind of the lights and the setting I used, well, they're not um, thousands of dollars uh, to um, purchase. So it was kind of just a cheap lighting and a cheap cloth. But um, what you can do is there's some effects in these editors that will let you pretty much get rid of all that extra noise. What you do for that is you click this matte generation and you can play with these to uh, get rid of all that uh, stuff behind it. So now you can see I just turned this up and it got rid of pretty much everything. And then if we play the movie, uh, we can see now it looks like I recorded this behind a perfectly white screen. And then to export it, all you have to do is go to um, File, Export, Media, and then that's it. And it was it was that easy. Now this also works for Camtasia. Let me pull that up here. There we go. So just like um, Adobe Premiere, Camtasia has this uh, editing this media section where you can drag and drop your different clips or music tracks if you want to add that. So I just sped things up and I um, uh, just dropped this uh, movie here. This was a, this is for like a, a pet video in a different niche, if you're wondering why it's called Animal. <laughs> but um, so I just dragged, uh, dragged this here and then dragged it onto this uh, timeline, just like Adobe Premiere. Uh, you can see the different uh, movies in the timelines here. And we're gonna use uh, a nature thing this time for the background just need to make sure that it's behind uh, the subject. 
Now to do the effects, it's just like Adobe Premiere, only um, the way they have it outlined is a little bit different. You just go to video effects again, only this time instead of ultra key, it's called remove color. And then you just drag that to the video that you want. And then the effect will show up on this little bar below it. You just double click that. Or you can just go to this gear over here and it will show it. And then uh, you just pick the color that you want to get rid of. And it goes away. And if you want to uh, make sure this is all edited correctly behind it so you don't have this black, you, you can just uh, expand or contrast the video. Now you can see there's a little bit of green still, so just like Adobe Premiere, what you can do is uh, play with these tolerance settings to get rid of that green outline. There we go. So um, that got rid of a lot of it right there. And uh, you can go on and play with this until you can get it almost completely gone. And then if you play the video, you'll see that, um, you know, it's, it looks like it will be me talking, uh, like, outside. And uh, because this is a movie track, there'll be, like, uh, nature sounds and stuff outside, like it was actually being recorded outside. Now, the best part is, about all this, is that you don't have to have thousands to spend on videographers or green screen virtual studios to look, make it look really professional, which is what we're aiming for. We don't want something that looks cheap, but it still comes off as uh, uh, someone, you're someone who can charge top dollar or do top video work for clients, or you look like an authority. So green screen videos, especially these talking head videos, uh, may really be the fastest and easiest way to accelerate your brand and platform today. First, you don't need to uh, tell me that you need to get into video or how Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube are all integrating video into their platforms. I think if you logged onto Facebook, you'll see that um, these platforms are really taking it seriously and using it heavily in their feeds because it's really the most engaging medium and it means that people are going to spend more time on those sites. And you've also probably realized by now that all the top marketers, uh, especially info style marketers and even software people now are really using video sales letters to market their products and books. So just think of the big uh, infopreneurs like uh, Brendan Burchard with the Experts Academy course and book, how he launched that with just video uh, sales letters um, with him talking on video or Jeff Walker or Amy Porterfield. High quality talking head videos not only convert more than really anything else, but it also helps uh, your brand humanize your brand and establish yourself as an authority figure and establish trust with your uh, prospects. And especially if you're using uh, these high quality virtual studios, um, which I showed you in the beginning over here. So you can see that this is really not that hard to jump into. Now there's some ways to make it a little bit more professional and actually create uh, it a lot faster than what I showed you here. Um, there's a lot more to jump into to make this look a lot more professional and even better than that uh, without spending more. So if you really want to get into making high quality green screen style videos or sales videos for yourself or your clients or maybe you're, you are but you want to get access to a lot more tools like professional video backgrounds, uh, these virtual studios or more advanced training. Um, and you should really check out this virtual studio simulator course, uh, both the front end offer, which is going to give you uh, the virtual studios I showed in the backgrounds and uh, these sets, and the upsell, which is only really a few dollars, um, which is going to give you access to even more video backgrounds, more virtual studios, a uh, big variety of music and images as well as um, training to help you, to take you step by step through different programs to get this done. Uh, so we've already gone over that. It's pretty much essential to start doing talking head videos if you ever wanna have a big brand 
or a big launch, uh, just like those marketers we talked about, like Amy Porterfield or Pat Flynn. And plus, I'm going to give you some special bonuses to really help uh, these green screen videos you'll make uh, go to the next level, uh, including additional virtual studios, motion templates, and backgrounds, and an entire resource list of what I use um, to record these uh, green screen videos that you, you could easily sell for hundreds to clients uh, on and offline marketing clients. Uh, including stuff like what tripod I used, um, what is the best and most affordable, uh, what software you can use. I know we went over Camtasia and um, Premiere Pro, but um, there's others that actually you can download for free uh, to get pretty good results. Um, the camera, what a selection of cameras and which ones are best. And along with some uh, additional training that I've personally created and some of the best uh, white label and private label rights products if you really want to take a look at those as well um, they'll be in there too to see if they add value and help your business so if you consider yourself a video marketer and to be honest i think we all really are at this point with the way the internet is evolving then you should really consider getting into this green screen stuff and really looking like a, an authority in your niche uh, get this under your belt for very cheap um, this uh, virtual studio simulator course uh, with the virtual studios and the uh, upsell are really <laughs> they're not really expensive at all compared to other training that you'd find on this and get some uh, really nice backgrounds that aren't cheesy stuff like iStock uh, photo or that Pond 5 site crap uh, you don't really want that you don't really want to have backgrounds that look like everyone else on the internet it's really not much money considering the templates and training that you'll be getting so basically you can either go to Panera Bread one night or you can invest in yourself and learn this technique that's really becoming increasingly vital and necessary in online marketing. So at least check out the Virtual Studio Simulator uh, while it's available and launching and I'll talk to you next time.